Hey, how's it going? Mr. Bill here, and today I want to go through a, a trick that I've been using lately, uh, where I basically use lives features to granulate or granulize my my master channel, and create an extra couple of glitchy noises in my tracks, and, and kind of create some interesting textures and stuff. So to begin, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to resample a um, my entire master track onto a single track here. And I'll do that by selecting resampling from this drop down menu here and then turning the channel off and just simply recording it in. So I've recorded my master channel in and um, I've used resampling. I find sometimes when you use the master in, which I'll do now, if you take the input from the master here and you do the same thing, I find sometimes it has latency. So yeah, you can see it's like recording a little bit of latency there. So I just use resampling instead. <coughs> it makes the life a little bit easier. Uh, and then what I want to do here is I want to select this first transient point. So you see if we click off this, we can't edit the segment BPM. But if we click on this little yellow transient, it now gives us the option to select the segment BPM. So what I'm going to do is just stretch it out as far as it can go. So this is slowing the sample right down. And then I'm going to stretch it out. And we can see that it's now stretched really far. And if we listen to it, it sounds like this. So it sounds kind of cool, but what I want to do is I want to uh, change the warping mode from beats to texture and then I want to turn the flux down and now I'm going to mess with the grain size. But what I'm going to do is create another audio channel, take the input from resampling, hit record and then I'm going to record it, uh, record the, the changes that I'm doing with the grain size in real time down into this channel here. So uh, let's just maybe give it a little bit of count in. So I'll start recording from a bar ahead. So you get the idea. Basically, you can do that for as long as you want. You can do the entire file if you like. Uh, then we're going to delete this original file and we're just going to keep the granulized one. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use little pieces of this to cut through my tune. So yeah, if we just take like a little a uh, little bit of this. Uh, oh, actually, let's just listen to it for starters. So um, I'm going to create another audio channel too. And I'm going to call this one Grains and then I'm going to call this one Chopping Board. And then I'm going to use this Chopping Board channel to drop parts of the grain channel onto. So first I need to decide where I would possibly want one of these granular things to happen. So if we listen. So it could be cool maybe to have one in there. So yeah, it'd be cool maybe to have one on the snare that, that kind of feeds into the next beat. And get rid of that kick maybe. So if we put it here. And then obviously we need to scrub through the sample to to figure out which part we want. Um, and then the second part of this tutorial that I want to show you is a, a thing called a placeholder. So I have a toolbox here and I just upload this to Dropbox. And no matter where I am in the world, I can just sync my Dropbox and I just have every like the, the base things that I'll need to write music, which is basically just a bunch of drum samples. Um, and then I'm going to take this placeholder and I'm going to place it after this piece of audio. And you can see the placeholder is just a uh, piece of silence. Uh, and then I want to go into this piece of audio and unwarp it. And then with these two arrows now, you can see I can move it around and it just uh, scrubs through the sample there. So uh, instead of, you know, if we didn't have it there and we started moving this around, it would start increasing and lengthening, uh, shortening the size of, you know, it'd be just a bit more messing around. So let's put it back and then we can just simply scrub through and find a bit that we like. So that's kind of cool, and then we can just, you know, fade it in maybe and get rid of the placeholder. And then maybe, you know, we could put another one here. 
So if we just silence all of that and get rid of that kick again, chuck another piece of this granular stuff here and turn the warping off and give the placeholder another go. And then we can try it again. That sounds pretty cool. Cool, so yeah, anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, and yeah, so basically this tutorial is just about granulization and the placeholder. So hope you enjoyed and uh, check out mrbillstunes.com if you want more tutorials and project files and stuff. You can actually download this project file here from the IRL Special Edition. Um, this track's called The Enabler and The Enabled from my last release IRL. Uh, and yeah, basically if you want anything, go check out mrbillstunes.com or leave a message in the comments. See ya.